Hey guys and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to save a search on Zillow and then get notifications of when new properties or houses that are in your specific search requirements pop up. Uh, you'll get notifications in the form of an email. So uh, I made a video about how to make a filter of a particular search. So if you're interested in learning more about how to filter uh, whatever search that you're making for a particular home or property you can go check out that video but this is after I've done all of the uh, filtering and search options and now I want to save this search so that if new properties or changes happen in this particular search I'll get notifications so you can see there's this little save search option over here and uh, even before that you're gonna want to make sure that you're logged in to your specific Zillow account um, obviously, if you're not logged into your account, it's going to be pretty hard to save a search. So uh, once you're logged into your account and you've done whatever house filter that you're comfortable with, the next thing you're going to do is go ahead and click that save search. And right when you do that, it's going to save your search and then give you some more options here. It says if you'd like, you can uh, change its name or choose how often you get updates about this particular search that you're saving. Uh, I'll just nickname this one Las Vegas because that's the area that I'm searching in. So it'll be easy to remember. And you can either get instant emails when there's changes um, to this particular search in terms of maybe houses changing prices um, or new listings coming on board. You can also decide to just get a daily email where you're not going to get bombarded with all these instant emails. It's going to just give you more of a summary type email uh, once per day. If you're really serious about getting ahead of the field in terms of uh, like going on a house tour or something, I would probably suggest going with the instant email option. But if you're more, uh, I'd say not extremely antsy to you know get in on these new listings that potentially come up, then maybe the daily email is more your cup of tea. Maybe you're just wanting just some general information, more scoping out the market than wanting to get bombarded by instant emails all the time. So you can also do that daily email option. So then you're going to go ahead and just click update search after that. Um, and then it gives you this uh, option to get the Zillow mobile apps. Uh, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. So you can exit out of that. And then if you want to get rid of a saved search, what you can do is just go ahead and click on your My Zillow up here at the top of the uh, page that you're on and you can see right here it says saved searches so you go ahead and click on that and here's that one saved search that I just made you can change the frequency of how often you get emailed you can turn it off entirely so you never get emails or you can go ahead and do those daily or instant options you can also rename it or just delete it altogether so if you want to get rid of your saved search you just go ahead and click that delete button and then it's gonna say are you sure you no longer no longer want to receive notifications with these results and you say yes so you just click delete again and now you don't have any saved searches uh, after that point in time so that's going to be pretty much it guys for this video um, i'm making a whole series of these zillow uh, how-to videos so be sure if you have any other questions or maybe perhaps some of my other videos might answer those questions on how to use zillow so thanks for stopping on in and we hope to see you in future videos guys bye